Richard Savage and we're recording a, a series of videos on the subject of book covers. Have you ever judged a book by its cover? The book cover really is an essential part of the whole process of marketing uh, and displaying a book. When you first pick up a book, what is it about the picture that does actually make you pick it up? Book covers are uh, made up of uh, a lot of very different elements. You've got the, uh, the illustration, or sometimes photograph, and the styles of that have changed over the years. It's a lot more photographic than it ever used to be. The font is a, a critical piece. Sometimes people will use such fancy fonts that you can't even see what the book is called, let alone anything else. But there is an element people never really think about, uh, is the spine. And when books are on a bookshelf, that's all you can see. You see this very, very small, thin element. And when the book is on a bookshelf, that's all you get to see. So your book cover design has to incorporate something that's going to grab somebody's attention just from that thin strip. I started off in book publishing around about 25 years ago. Uh, but before that, uh, I wanted to be a, a children's book illustrator. And that, that ambition came from school. I did a lot of children's illustrations. Uh, these are some of the pictures I did uh, in the early days. I've been working as a Fenland artist for a number of years uh, and I, every now and again you get an opportunity to work on a local project. Uh, in partnership with Marketplace, uh, I worked on a project uh, called Chatteris in Myth and Memory, uh, which was a book of uh, local folk stories, uh, working with local writers, uh, children's groups, a couple of the local schools. One of the jobs as an illustrator is that you have to actually read the stories and make the pictures fit the words. It's not just drawing pictures, it's actually making it all fit together. The illustration is as it says, uh, showing you something about the story, should enhance the story rather than just be a picture. Another illustration uh, really took me back to my roots. I had the opportunity to draw uh, a kid's cartoon. And the story is about mice in a shop window. Uh, and I just thought, well, it's the thing you've got to do. And it was an opportunity, and you've got to have a bit of fun with your art every time you can. And that's where we can have some fun. What I'd like you to do is post pictures of uh, book covers that you really like. Uh, and maybe even book covers that you don't like. It would be nice to start the conversation as to what actually does make a book cover. What do you like? What do you hate in a book cover? What does make a really great cover design? Let me show you some examples of stuff that I've really enjoyed. <music> And some of the things that have given me one of the best laughs I've ever had is look at some of the really bad ones. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have making it. In the next episode, we'll be looking at an individual book cover. It's been in print for quite a lot of years and it's, the cover has changed quite a bit from its original through to where it is now. See you next time.